All right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Check something real quick because I'm pretty sure it dropped. Yes, it did. All right, that should be better. Okay, let me check and see if my mic is having issues again. I might need to purchase a new mic. Let's see. And looks like it's okay right now, so that's good. All right. Okay, Radical Red Time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the chats. Make sure I have those up. James, thank you so much for the six months. Let's freaking go. Six months as a member. That is incredible. I really appreciate the support. Harrison, also, thank you so much for reminding me I'm late again. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, too. Um... But yeah, welcome in. Hey, Air Force, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Ready for the new Captain America game? I did hear about that. So there is a new, uh, like, Marvel game, which is kind of cool. Uh, oh, wait, no, the Captain America with the um, with the Black Panther and stuff. Oh, yeah, that game looks sick. Yo, the trailer looked like a movie. I'm not going to lie. No cap. No cap, double no cap. With a cap in the movie. Look kind of crazy. Uh, I'm really excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a really fun game. Um, Rhythm, what's going on? Guys, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, work has been a little chaotic. I have a lot of work stuff to do this weekend. Uh, it's it's just... It's gone from 0 to 100 so quickly. It's just insane. Um, I basically... The team that I'm on is a team of three people. So when both of them go on vacation and it's just me, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I have to do. And there's a chance that... I mean... Well, I'm pretty sure next week on Tuesday is when one of them is back. And the other one's gone for like the entire, as of tonight, all the way through next week, all the way until the Monday after. So, yeah, it's uh, it's gotten pretty chaotic. Um, but yeah, uh, good news, by the way. Some gr I would say it's great news. So there is a Let's Play, a collab project with Soul Chris and I. We recorded it last Saturday. Uh, went really well. We recorded a couple episodes. Really, really good. There was some sound issues, some sound quality issues. Uh, my dude, Soul Christ, is an absolute genius. A mad lad, some would say. An absolute legend, others would say, in a British accent. And he fixed the audio. So it sounds good. And I've just tested it, and it sounds really good. And so... On Saturday, I believe we will be posting episode one on his channel, a new versus never done before. This is not, this is a different type of versus that nobody that I am aware of has ever done it before. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe someone's done it and I'm just misinformed, but I'm pretty sure no one's done this type of versus and I'm really excited for you guys to see how this goes. Uh, we're doing a different style of thumbnail as well. We're not doing the whole like, oh. <gasps> faces like we're trying something different with the thumbnail too so we think uh I, I i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like it so uh really excited we were worried that we'd lost the video well we were worried that we couldn't use the first two or three episodes because the audio issues but soul did some investigating and figured it out so uh new series will probably drop in two days and i'm really excited for it uh hopefully you guys are as well but uh yeah let's freaking go with that being said, a new collab series dropping in a couple days. The hype is real. Uh, we have a team. I've prepared a couple of teams. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, I've prepared a couple of teams. So we've got the team right here. This team is going to be facing off against uh, this team. So this team with the Aerodactyl, the Hypno, the Gramble, and the Obstagoon. Then uh, we have a team prepped for Rocket Grunt Guard left because they are now boss fights because this game got even more difficult than it was before. Love that. Um, and then we also have a team prepped for Rocket Grunt Guard right because there's another, there's three boss fights after Erica just to get to Giovanni. It's actually insane. Oh, and by the way, Giovanni has a sixth Pokemon on his team now. So if that fight wasn't already tough enough, it's even harder. So great. <laughs> Love it. Just love it. So excited about that. Anyway, uh, so we have three teams. Um, uh, hey, Zelda, what's going on? Goldengo, we love the cheese string, man. Yes, we do. Especially when he's got Thick Bat as an ability. Pretty Pog. Pretty Pog. 
Uh, by the way, if you guys are just now joining and you haven't hit the follow button, subscribe button, the like button, the member button, feel free to click all those buttons. They are uh, much appreciated. Uh, they're good buttons. They're free, too. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take on the... Uh, we gotta take on the first... Here, let me... Let's click there. Put that. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what we've got to do is we've got three teams. I should have realized, though that you never bring your team that is prepared for the boss fight. You always bring a backup team. So let's bring a backup team to take on the regular grunts before we take on... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm an idiot. Hold on. I'm I'm definitely not the smartest because um, you can't take on the boss fight until you beat the guy in the front. Oh, wait a minute. We got another thing to do. Okay, guys. We have eight people in the chat. I think that's plenty of you to make this decision. Jay, welcome in. What's going on, guys? Everyone in the chat, Twitch and YouTube. I need to show you something. We forgot a token. We have, look, and I didn't do it off screen like I've done before. I want you guys to see it. So we've got Dundo Dundozo twice. I found this token Dundozo on like the middle of box two. And I always move them to the bottom right when I realize that I need to release them. So... We never got a Pokemon to replace this. There are two options that I think we can go get. Eevee, what's going on? Welcome in. So there are two Pokemon that I would like to get. Um, one of them, I believe, is in Viridian Forest. So I need you guys to decide. Do we go for... Oh, where is this Pokemon? Wait, was it up here? See how what's going on? Well, either way, I know what the two Pokemon are. I just need to find them. Would you guys rather us replace our Dundozo token with a Jirachi or a Chestnut? Now, keep in mind, both are very good. Jirachi is a great Pokemon in general. Um, Chestnut apparently can sweep Geo 2 because of Drain Punch, Bulk Up, and Trailblaze. And Horn Leech, I think. Yeah. So... It would be really, and apparently it's really good for other bosses now because the way they've designed it, I guess. Sky Pepper, what's going on? Welcome in. So it's between Jirachi and Chestnut. I can't remember where the Jirachi is. I want to say it was actually on in this upcoming route here. But can you guys let me know? Type one in chat if you think we should get Jirachi. Type two in, oh, there it is. Okay, so Jirachi is here. And then I believe Chespin, I found it over here. Uh, maybe not. But type one in chat if you think we should get Jirachi. Type two in chat if you think we should get Chestnut. I'm going to be honest. I kind of want Chestnut a little bit more. However, I can see value in both of them. Um, Where did I find? Oh, I think I remember where I found it. It was like over here. Shadow, what's going on? Welcome in. We got a bunch of people in Twitch today. That's great. There it is. Okay, so I so one for Jirachi, two for Chestnut. Type that in the chat so I can figure out who we pick. Jirachi's a really good Pokemon. Um, Chestnut is a Pokemon that can sweep in certain battles. So I'm going to let you guys decide. We've got two twos, three twos, and two ones. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time to decide. Now, this doesn't impact the upcoming battles. I'm still going to go through these fights I've already prepped teams for. But I just want to get this cap uh, capture out of the way now. So it looks like right now we've got more twos than ones. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time to vote. But I would like to make a decision pretty soon. Two, 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 one, one. I'm only taking the votes once, so Shadow and Siha, I will accept your vote, but not more than once. I'm giving people a chance to vote again. One was Jirachi, two was Chestnut. Uh, flip a coin. Well, right now, it's three to two, so I'm going to go with Chestnut. No one else seems to be voting, so that is fine. I will go ahead and choose the Chestnut. I will take that. Uh, let's go ahead and catch it. Rhythm and Harrison voted too. That's beautiful. Thank you, everyone, for voting. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a chestnut. Um, I'm going to name this Shadow. I feel like that's a really cool name for a chestnut. So, Shadow, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. 
real quick, let's go ahead and release that Dundozo. And let's move you back over here. And really quick, before we go take on this first boss fight, let's see what this thing has. Hopefully, this thing has at least got a decent ability. Otherwise, I'm going to re feel really bad if we ended up doing the voting and we ended up getting the crappier mon. But apparently, this thing is borked because of the fact that it can uh, it can do a lot of really good things. A lot. Dragon Taz, what's going on? Welcome in. Um, it's got Drought. Don't want that. Okay, that doesn't work. Dream Patch, what do you have for us? Please be good. Yo, that's awesome. Oh, thank God. I was really worried. When it said Drought, I was like, oh, that's horrible for us. Multi-scale's incredible. Oh, man, we got... Okay, we got a really good one there. That is amazing. All right, let's put our team back together. Chestnut, I can't wait to sweep with you against Geo 2. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm doing a radical bread run by only using electric and steel types. And it's randomized, but scaled, and I'm already at the electric. Wow, congrats. Very nice. Hey, Eagle, how's it going? I am doing well. I'm not going to lie. I'm exhausted and really stressed. I have a lot of stuff going on at work. I'm really tired. Uh, both of my coworkers are out of office after today, so it's all me to do basically everything. Uh, Multi-scale chestnut coming in clutch. That is insane. I am so happy. When I saw drought, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, this is over. This is so bad. Uh, but no, we're we're in great shape. So here we go. Boss fight number one. Uh, here we go. It is a double battle. So let's do the darn thing. I prepped three teams for the three Giovanni, or sorry, Team Rocket boss battles. So it's Hypno and Aerodactyl. So if I was smart, I gave a... Why does it say token? Oh, did I release the shiny version? Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Uh, yes, Anthony, this is Radical Red. So we're going to fake out you, and we are going to gear grind you. So we break the sash, and then we kill with gear grind. And we get rid of the Aerodactyl, because that is the bigger threat. Hypno really doesn't do much to my team. Uh, I have Chesto Berries on both Michael and Token. So you can Dark Void, that's fine. I'm literally going to wake up with Chesto Berries, so that's fine. Oh, and Token avoided the attack. Nice, so he didn't use his Chesto. Okay, now this guy is a terror, or a, a menace, as I should say. I want to put the Cynthia music on. That just, I don't know, seems more fitting. All right, so Obstagoon, you are terrifying, my friend. You're level 43. You do have a Flame Orb and Guts. Against my Grimmsnarl, how do you do? Oh boy, Facade definitely kills. Um, can I just go Tyranitar? Because that's who I brought, right? I'm pretty sure I can switch into... I'm pretty sure I just switch into Titar and... Uh, hold on, let me check... Clang Clang. Goldengo? Wow. Okay, so we definitely... We definitely double switch here. Okay. So we go Arc... And, uh... Let me check what he does to, uh, Clang Clang again. I could just gear grind the, um... Or do I go for the Hypno? Um... Oh, I just realized. Hypno's gonna... I think I have to gear grind the Hypno. Because he's gonna dark void the... Um... Oh, he's gonna dark... Oh, he's gonna put my Goldengo to sleep. Uh-oh. I think I still switch here. But I go gear grind on you. Oh, you went knockoff. Okay, well, I just lost my Chesto. 
But I still get the gear grind off, so that's cool. Still do about over 50%. Um, I really need... Yes? Ah, oh, so Token is asleep. That's unfortunate, but Ark did dodge it, so that's good. That's good. Bad Dreams hurts Token. That's fine. Um, we go for the... So, I think... Old Dengo. Um, I am faster. So, I, I go for the Shadow Ball to kill the Hypno. Yeah. And then, with you, I go for... Gear Grind. I have the berry for the knockoff. That does under 50%. Token is fast asleep. Shadow Ball should kill the Hypno. Yep, Hypno is gone. So Dark Void, no more. Okay, Intimidate, that's fine. Um, you know what? I'm very tempted to see... Well, I don't have a berry anymore. Obstagoon does 70 to 83%. So I cannot stay in here. I mean, I can. I just, I have to protect. Um, can I go to Titar now? So if I go Tyran Tyranitar, I can go Titar. Yeah. Um, what does Titar have? Rocky Payload, Iron Head, Brick Break, Knock Off, Rock Slides. Let me put that in the calcs. And head. Brick break. Knock off. Rock slide. Okay. All right. So, what do we do here? Uh, by the way, thank you all so much for being in here. I appreciate it. Listening to while playing Final Fantasy 12. Nice. Oogity boogity quack. Cyberbomb. What's going on, my boy? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Titar, how do you take a attack from a Grand Bowl? Um, who I just realized would obliterate with Drain Punch. So I cannot switch in here. Um, okay. I, I go Protect, and I, s hmm. Grimmsnarl, I can't bring you back in, can I? Against Ranbull. Play rough would wreck. Um, I could go Parasect to use Prankster to put one of you to sleep. Um, but does Parasect take a hit? Let's see, forty-seven. Your nature is sassy. You have, a, uh, you have Prankster. You have a what berry do you have? You have Citrus. Four. Nope, you have four. You have. Uh, what do you have? H Seed. You have Snappy Seed. I did not do that in order, but that's fine. Oh boy, Gramble does a lot of damage. Uh, what about Obstagoon? Oh, so does Obstagoon. All right, I think my only option is I have to... Mm. Oh, these boss battles are annoying. Um, can I go Talonflame? Is there any shot Talonflame works here? 47, Adamant. You don't have multi-scale. You have super luck. Citrus Berry. Facade Wood Oko. Um, what about Granbull? Granbull does nothing to the Fire Birdie. So I think Knockoff is going into Arc. I think we switch into Talonflame for Token. We protect. Please tell me you went for Knockoff on the Arc. You went for Sucker Punch. That's great. You went for Drain Punch. That's fine. It does 23 to 28. So it does okay damage. Um... I am going to... So, Gramble's actually really slow, which is great. So, I could recover knowing... Well, because if he's going for the Sucker Punch, right? 
Um, yeah, but there's a good chance that now that Obstagoon sees that we're out on the field, yeah, he definitely goes for an attack here. Uh, he actually does outspeed us too. That's crazy. Um, I could go for recover. And he goes for facade here. This could be my chance to switch into, like, knockoff. Ooh, knockoff does a lot, though. Um, mm -mm -mm. So if he goes for, if he goes for facade, and and they double into talent flame. I wonder if then going into Paxton. Man, this is so tough. Um I I think I think I go recover. I think he's going to sucker punch because I don't think he can kill me from this range. Um Okay, I do recover. I wish I was faster. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am faster. Wait, I have it as adamant. I'm jolly. Oh, I'm so glad I changed that. Okay, wait a minute. This is... I wish I'd given you a U-turn. Um, okay, wait. Hold on. Uh... I don't do enough. So... I am faster, though. So I think... What would he go for? I mean, so here's the thing. Gramble doesn't do anything to Talonflame. Rumor has it that Lucario dropping his first mixtape tonight. Oh, Ludicolo dropped. What? That's crazy. What's the mixtape going to be called? Leaf Water? <laughs> I don't know. Just came up with the name. Isn't that funny? Uh, excellent. Dude, I'm on the first boss battle of these stupid rockets, and I'm already stuck. This is crazy. This is actually insane. Um, I don't know what I go into here. I wonder if I sack... I don't really want to sack a mon, but I... I so what, what realistically are they going to do? I guess Drain Punch to get health? But, like, he doesn't need health. Let me see what um, Grimmsnarl takes damage from. Grimmsnarl. If Grimmsnarl comes in place of... Oh my god, yeah, Grimmsnarl can't take a hit. What about Parasect? But my Parasect takes nothing from a Drain Punch. Um, or Psychic Fangs. What about Obstagoon? Dude, Obstagoon is a problem. It's a real threat. Um, I could go T-Tar, but I need a clean switch for him. I actually think I need to sack either Grimmsnarl, but Grimmsnarl with Fake Out and potentially getting Michael and Parasect in at the same turn, Fake Out Spore could be insane, because I, I could double Spore. Hmm. Because if I can, if I can actually spore the Obstagoon, we're in good shape. Um, I can't go into these two because Dream Punch from Gramble hurts. I think realistically, I have to sack can uh, Token. That really sucks because Unaware is a great ability, and I don't want to sack a pure Steel type because it's a really good typing. But I don't know what else I can do here. Um, I, if he's going for Sucker Punch with Obstagoon, thinking that I'm going to attack, then I go Parasect to eat the Drain Punch. Right? I mean, like, I don't know what he does here. This is the... Because if Obstagoon decides to go for Talonflame and they double up on Talonflame slot, then I'm screwed no matter what. 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna play this as if the AI is going for the same combo it just went for. Sucker Punch on Arc, and Brain Punch on... You know what? Yeah, let's do it. I gotta make a move. I'm gonna go into Parasect. I'm, I gotta hope the Obstagoon... He went for Facade. Damn. That's not what I wanted to see, but it is what it is. That's really unfortunate. I get my recover off. He goes for Goldengo. Wow, that's... Uh, okay. That's fine by me. Um, so, okay. This changes things a little bit. So... Don't know at 96 HP I can live another uh, I can live a fire move. So how much does his fire attack do? Grand Bull. His temper flare does one shot my Parasect, so I cannot. Um. Damn. Uh, knowing that he's gonna go for a fire move is good though. Um. I just, it's unfortunate because, like, I can't really, like, I can't utilize Prankster the the way, I, I wish I'd switch to Grimmsnarl and Parasect there. Um, the Goldengo, how much do you do? These double heads are so hard. The Goldengo can one-shot the Grand Bull. And I outspeed. Wait a minute, what? But, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, I've got my answer right here. I outspeed... Hold on. Well... Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, I've got the answer. So, Prankster allows us to go first. So, if I flash... Oh, flash cannon's a roll. It's not guaranteed to kill. Oh, it's so risky. Um, So, I have to... Oh, man. If I was modest nature, I would win this. Um, okay, here's the risk I have to take. Flash cannon. And then prankster spore. Oh, wait, I can't put him to sleep. I'm an idiot. He's, I'm an idiot. He's already burned. Oh, my God, guys. What am I doing? Well, then, that means that I have to spore the... Oh, I don't even know anymore. Okay, wait, hold on. So, does Obstagoon kill me if he sucker punches? No, not at all. He actually can't kill me. Uh, well, hold on, wait. Oh, it's so close. Hold on, wait. How much health do I have? One, what was that, 125? Uh, at 125, I have 82% health. I would live a knockoff. And unless he gets a high roll sucker punch, I live that. He would have to get the highest roll possible for me to lose Goldengo here. So what we do is we flash cannon you. Wait, let me think this through. Hold on. Let me think this through. Okay, right now, Obstagoon goes first. Second would be Arc. Third would be the no nickname Parasect. And then last is Gramble. Gramble kills the Parasect. So I wonder if I spore Parasect. Or sorry, spore Gramble. Because I would outspeed. But I need to. Does Obstagoon kill Parasect? Yes, he does. Okay, so. God damn it, man. This is so complicated. Um, okay, here's what we do. We flash cannon to kill. And we switch into... We switch into Paxton. Because I think he's going for Facade to kill the Parasect now. We're going to make a play here. It's risky as hell, but I'm going to go for it. Here we go. 
He did go for facade. That's That was a crit, and I still take that. Flash cannon, please get even just a normal roll or a high roll. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god, that's massive. Okay, so I am going to protect, and I'm pretty sure we're safe now. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I can Brick Break. Obstagoon cannot kill me. Um, and I just don't annihilate him. Oh my god. What an actual... This music made it so intense. Arc protected. Brick Break kills. Oh my god. Dude, I missed one. Team Rocket's base was a joke. Okay, breathe for a second. Oh my god. All right, we got two more of those fights before we even get to Giovanni. Unbelievable. See now why they added Legends, guys? Because this game is stupid hard, even harder than it was in 3 or 4.0 and all the other ones. Okay, next battle I've got ready. My god. This is so ridiculous. Let's freaking go. Okay, 2 3 4 5 6 Wow, okay, I am absolutely stressed out. The next battle is this one right here. So the the key thing here is taking out Galarian Weezing. Um so what we do, which I need to double check this, but uh Weezing speed stat is really slow. We are faster. But I don't remember if I checked slacking, um, taking out the Gudra. I don't think he does. No, he doesn't take out us out at all. He has Truant, Lumberry. Oh, but Truant, well, it doesn't matter. Truant being there or not. The neutralizing gas will make it so, um, uh, so Truant won't work. So we've got Citrus. I mean, Fire Punch is not Stab. He does outspeed. I wonder if we just don't put an item on him. Because knockoff will go from 34 to 41 to 23 to 28. So there's almost no reason to even put a berry on him. Just to save the damage that we take. So I'm pretty sure if I just go ahead and go against the Weezing at level 43. Yeah, we absolutely obliterate. Feline prowess, not a problem. Uh, now, I think the plan was to fake out with you. That's right. It was to fake out the slacking, go for the flash cannon on the Galarian Weezing. Once Galarian Weezing's gone, it's an absolute joke of a battle. Regigigas, Robert, or Blissey, Backscaloper, all of these Pokemon. These two, really good. Uh, this one is a special wall, and so it can counter the Crobat and the Diplin on its own. Um, yeah, we're fine. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check that one more time before we get into this. Guys, if you have not hit the like button yet or subscribed or followed me over on Twitch, please do so. Or uh, use your free Prime membership. If you uh, link your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, you get a free Prime sub to use. Uh, you're welcome to use it on me if you want to. Oh, whoops. I have to talk to the poster. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's not screw this up. Uh, hold on. Let me do this. I can't believe we... I didn't want to lose Parasect. To be honest, Prankster Spore is just stupid good. Like, really, really good. Um, okay, I'm going to put these back in box four. I do not want to accidentally lose a Pokemon to one of the Rocket Battles. So let's go ahead and... Uh, it did. I know. Sorry, that was just a tough battle. That's my first time battling that battle while prepping. I think I tried... No, I think that's the second time I did, but the first time, I didn't know it was a double battle, and we just kind of winged it, and it kind of just worked out. That was tough. I'm not gonna lie. That was brutal. Um, we are gonna bring you... Uh, we'll bring you... Bring... Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna bring Goldengo over Giratina. Having Thick Fat is so nice. Uh, let's give everybody a, a citrus berry. 
Oh man, I'm exhausted. Today at work has been exhausting. I have so many things to do tomorrow. I am not looking forward to tomorrow at all. Um, and I've got to edit episode one before Friday. Uh, for those of you who just joined uh, late uh, or after I started the stream, at the beginning of today's stream, I did mention that a brand new Let's Play is coming out Saturday. It's a collab series with me and my boy Soulcrist. Uh, we are doing a Pokemon Mirror Lock. Uh, so it is the first that I've ever heard of this style versus, and I'm really excited because Soul actually was able to fix the audio issues that we found on the recordings. So the audio sounds super crisp and is way better than what we had before. And so he fixed it. Thank you to Soul. If it wasn't for him, you guys would be waiting even longer for more content. Um, but yeah, the, con the audio is fixed, and so we are good to go. I'm really excited for you guys to see this uh, new series. Uh, okay, let's see. Aqua Tail, Body Slam, Rain Dance, Tickle, it's fine. Uh, yep. Uh, actually, let me move Relearn. Shadow Ball, probably over. Flamethrower. Move Relearn. Uh, Willow, definitely over Light Screen. Uh, and... I like the idea of grass knot. Um, now nah, I'll leave it. Okay, let's lead with our whale and let's uh head on into the fortress. God, this is a nightmare. I really uh don't like that they added more and more boss fights to this game. <laughs> I really don't. I just want to be able to beat this game and not have any issues. Oh man. Uh, Aqua Tail. Okay, what do we get here? Psychic Noise. It's no longer Trailblaze. Wow. Oh, whoops. Uh, you know what? Let's save the game. I don't want to lose. Dude, these double battles are tough because there's so many different options each, so each Pokemon could go for. It's really based on luck in terms of like, okay, I don't have a counter for all eight attacks. Because if they have eight, if they have two Pokemon, four attacks each, like, you just have to hope you have the right stuff for it. Um, Aqua Tail. Dude, this thing's actually really good. Multi-scale is really nice, too. Uh, let's heal. All right, boss number two is coming up. So excited. Okay, it's still a rare candy. They didn't take that rare candy out. I feel like they should replace it with a TM because, let's be honest, I don't need the rare candies anymore because we get them from our dealer. Okay. All right, here we go. This run is really good. I love having Goldengo with Thick Fat. This thing is so cool. If I lose him, I'm going to cry. Just because, like, having that resistance to ice and then making fire not as strong is just so good. Okay, save the game. Now I can store you all back in the first PC. Um, let's go ahead and grab this team. Ark, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, I, I saw you there. I was reading your comments. I may not have read them out loud, but I read them in my head. So I was like, cool. Um, okay, protect Dragon Pulse. Yep, that looks good. Ice, this thing is so cool. Ice Scales, Monkey Dory. You got this. Thank you so much, Jay. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Let me save the game. Um, it is time for some crazy music. Now, which guard is it specifically that I want to fight? It is the guard on the left that I need to be fighting. Oh, no, you're good. No worries. It's all good. Here we go. Maybe put Trailblaze there. Trailblaze for what? Uh, Cyberbomb, before I jump into this battle, where were you talking about put Trailblaze? Oh, were you talking about, um, for my other team? Oh, over the red candy. Gotcha. Yeah, that'd be, I mean, that would work. All right, here we go. Okay, so, um, I go for Flash Cannon. Wait a minute. Oh my god, wait, I might have messed up. Neutralizing Gas gets rid of Feline Prowess. I, ha I, it's a roll to kill. So the question now becomes, 
I completely forgot neutralizing gas won't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, good news, he doesn't really do much to Gudra, but there's a chance that he could end up killing Zera Aura. Oh no, he, he does nothing to us. So I definitely, I still go for Flash Cannon, and I go Fake Out on the Slacking. Now we're fine. We're all right. We we get these high rolls anyway. It doesn't matter. We get these. Not worried. Calculated. Watch. Watch and learn. Yep, we get these. GG's. Back to neutralizing gas is gone, baby. That means you have Truant slacking. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks to suck. Um, all right, so Robat is in. I do not outspeed the Crobat. Crobat does not really do much to Zeroora. Let me double check my stats, though. Did I go up in attack, or... I did, yeah. Wish I'd gone with speed, but that's okay. So the most this thing does is 37 to 44% on Zeroora. What does slacking do? Body slam does a lot. Okay, so I don't think Zeroora can stay in here. Um, realistically, I'm wondering... Let me see, does Gudra do good damage to the Slacky? I could Dragon Pulse. It does It does do good damage. It does uh, 81 to 95. So if I go Dragon... Wait, wait, hold on. Can I Ice Beam the Crobat? Does that do anything? Oh, no, Ice Beam. I kill the Crobat. Yeah, we Ice Beam, and I switch into... Uh, let me check Reggie real quick. Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas takes basically nothing from the. Uh, oh, he's got sniper. Okay, and then what does slacking do? Okay, we're fine. No, we, we go to we go to Reggie Gigas every day of the week. Uh, his, his hidden ability was I think Delta Stream. You went for Sludge Bomb. Okay. You didn't get the crit. You did get the poison. That's really unfortunate. Oh, his Truant kicked in. That's beautiful. Yeah, Ice Beam kills the Crobat. Yep, because I feel I'm Prowess back. So we are hurt. So now that comes in. So I go for Protect here. And... Uh... Did I get the plus one speed boost? Did my speed boost kick in? It did, right? Oh, I can't see it. Hold on. I think I skip. Oh, I speed up. Stupid speed up. I couldn't see it. I oh, use speed up. That sucks. Dad, what's going on? My speed up was so fast that even putting the speed on my video. At slow down, doesn't doesn't say how like if it actually kicked in. Damn, that's a shame. Um. Okay, so I protect with J to see what they do. I need. I think I protect this turn because he's gonna true. Well, after this turn, he's he's got true on. So I protect here. Yeah, I protect. We don't speed up. We see if we get the speed boost. You Ice Punch J and Dragon Pulse J. So you doubled into J. Wow. The speed boost does kick in. So if I'm plus one, can I just... Uh... I wonder... Knockoff doesn't do that much. 
Uh, let me think this through. Hold on. I'll give you an ice move, right? Ice punch. Yeah. So let's assume I'm just at plus one speed. Why does it say that speed stat? I'm at 113. I said I'm at 142. Oh, it's added 252 for um, the EVs. Okay, that explains it. All right. The so plus one puts me at 169. Okay. Uh, that's what they did. They add, it's for the but I don't have any of these EVs. So it, okay, so I it's fine. There's EVs in here for like other situations when they when you use EVs. They added them into the calcs now, so I need to be mindful of that. Um, they have them auto loaded in for certain Pokemon, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, but I do outspeed, and Ice Punch does not do much. What is the name of that apple thing? Um, it's a Diplin. Okay, Diplin. Leet, leet, leet. Okay, Ice Punch does not kill. What about Gudra? Dewey and Gudra, I do outspeed. An Ice Beam during the Truant turn does kill the um, Diplin. Yes, Eviolite. I have Feline Prowess, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Ice Beam kills. You can't really do anything to me anyway, so that's fine. That is true. That's a fair point. Yo, Yoshi, what's going on? Welcome in. Um, we are playing uh, Radical Red, obviously. Look at this scrub playing Radical Red. Only nerds play Radical Red. That is true. I am a nerd. Uh, so we Ice Beam you... And I am going to just switch into... I'm going to switch into Paul so I can fake out on this next turn. Yes, I'm going to do that. So he Truant, so he's loafing around. Ice Beam obliterates. Feline Prowess, Modest Nature, Hisui and Gudra kills. Yep. Diplin is gone. Okay, now I go for Dragon Pulse... And I fake out. And this should finish off the uh, the slacking. Yep. I got a crit, which was unnecessary, but that's fine. And I defeated the rocket. Oh, okay. Next boss. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let's take a minute to breathe. Okay. Two big battles down. Oh, my goodness. How crazy was that? That was insane. All right. Not as crazy as the first. I can't believe they put three boss fights inside of the Team Rocket uh, base before you even have to fight Giovanni. It's so ridiculous. Dude, so yeah, Yoshi, they made mini bosses. There are three mini bosses inside of the Rocket. So there's the guy who's in front of the poster and in the beginning before you even come down here. There's the, and then there's these two. They're all double battles, and they all have a lot of crazy stuff going on, and it's nuts. Um, it's actually terrifying. And, uh, yeah, now I gotta battle another one. Uh, and I haven't even battled Giovanni. I haven't prepped for Giovanni at all. I don't have the... I didn't have the time to. <sighs> I mean, I'm surprised they didn't do that either. They should just make the whole game mini-bosses at this point. Like... If you're going to make it that hard. Um, all right. Save the game. Let me double check that we're good here. So who is the next boss we are fighting? So if I go here, we got to fight you next. Let me check my team. Feels so... It's, it's so much. Um, okay. So I... Um, what was the plan with this? He doesn't have fake out. Uh, 95 and 141. So we outspeed the shift tree. Uh, I'm pretty sure both of those Pokemon do nothing to us. I can huge power dual wing beat the shift tree and kill him. He has focus sash. And I think for you, I just breaking swipe to lower your attack. Although you're a special attacker. But good news, Will-O-Wisp will not work on either of us because we are fire types. So that's cool. Uh, Gale Wings does mean that you get priority over us with when you're full health, right? You get plus one priority to uh, flying moves. So yeah, we should be fine. Um, 
You're not a special attacker, though. That's really strange that, uh... That they went special with you. Yeah, they're all tougher than Geo one This is insane. At minimum, after Sabrina, you got to do with 10 mini-bosses in a row. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> nice, Yoshi. Nice. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> so tired. I Not tired of this game, but like I've had a really long day. I'm exhausted. And I've had to fight three mini-bosses before I can even take on freaking Giovanni. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. It's just Sabrina. It's just mini-boss simulator. That's all it is. Do I even have any more water? I got a little bit. Might have to step away in a minute and go get some water. Oh my gosh. I've had a long day of work. Now I gotta fight all these bosses. Alright, are we ready? Um Toxicroak. We have Blazing Soul. Um Flame. Uh yep. Yeah. That looks good. You have the Culver Berry. You have a citrus berry. Citrus, citrus, multi-scale, brown move. Okay, let's do this. I hope this works out. Here we go. Pull up both the chats again. Pull up this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, Yoshi, you can go to bed. All right? <laughs> you can just go to bed, my dude. It's fine. You don't have to pick on me all the time. Okay, it's fine. Here we go. Second boss fight. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Talonflame, shift tree. Why they made you a special attacker, Talonflame? No idea. All right, so we go for, oh, breaking swipe hits both. Owl works for both of us? Really? Hmm. Who's faster here? I am. Okay. Yeah, then I'm going to go... I'm going to go Breaking Swipe and Dual Wing Beat. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't even contemplate that combo. It's fine. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh no, oh no. He gets plus one, but it's fine. Yeah, dual wing beat kills. Yeah, there's no attacks that Shift Tree has that are really good against our fire type, so we're fine. I'm actually okay with you doing that. I get some good damage on Talonflame. It sucks that it drops your attack because that doesn't matter, but it's fine. Uh, Talonflame means that Electros is faster now. Um, Electros is a special attacker. He has nothing super effective on Paul. Um, I feel like Fire Fang is good here because you're slower than me. You have Levitate, so you're immune to ground. That's sucks. Um, I mean, it can't Willow us. I'm not weak to Dragon. Thunderbolt, I am weak to Thunderbolt. Okay, so. Uh, although, we could Roost to get rid of our part flying type. So we'd just be pure fire. Oh, but Talonflame, or Tailwind, he outspeeds. So if it's going to go for Thunderbolt, I feel like Rotom is the best option. Yeah, we go into Rotom here. Um, because that is by far the best option. Yep. Zack, switch out. Gadget, come out. Hurricane, okay. Uh, that's going to do decent damage. I have a citrus. I eat that. Thunderbolt. I resist. That still did a way too much damage, but that's fine. Fire Fang. Self-sufficient. Nice. I was really hoping for a burn. How much Tailwind is left? There's only four turns, right? Or something like that. Um, I wonder if I breaking swipe. I don't really want to split the damage, though. Uh, I... I'm an idiot. He has Dragon Pulse. I'm weak to Dragon Pulse. Why would I stay in there? Um, I wonder if I go Stalin because of multi-scale. And let Gadget... 
Uh, yeah, why did he not go Dragon Balls? Now I'm curious. Hold on. E Electros versus Gouging Fire. Oh, I didn't put my stats in here. Hold on. 47, Adamant Nature. You have Self-Sufficient. You had a Citrus Berry. Fire Fang. Dragon Pulse to 60 to 71. I lost my Gouging Fire if he went for the right move there. Wow. Morning Sun. Um, breaking Spike. Wow. Shame I didn't go for Howl turn one because I would have done so much more damage. I have to switch out. Um, let me see. What do I want to do here? So I could switch out to Skeledurge. Uh, I lift my sofa. What's going on? That's a really interesting name for Twitch, but okay. First time for me making a stream, but dude, you make amazing videos. Been watching all your Nuzlocks. Miss the type lock series though, and the three way. Thank you so much for that comment. That comment has just made my day right there. Uh, me and Soul and Hoenn have all had so much fun over the years with the three way verses and the type locks. Uh, both those series will be back at some point. Um, I can pretty much say with certainty. I think the three ways a little bit harder because we're on three different time zones. So it is really hard to record that. Uh, but I left my sofa. Thank you so much for your first comment being that you enjoyed those series. The type block was a lot of fun. I I think the reason we stopped it was me because I was getting sick of getting the same typings locked up from my team. Every, every series, it was fire, electric, and like rock or psychic or something. I never got water, grass, or anything else. Um, and so I was kind of like, I want to take a break from that. But also, I love the cage locks. Those are my favorite. So uh, really glad you like the content, though. That's really awesome. Thank you so much. Um, the question is, what do I do now? So I could go with you because I have Aerial A E speed, which is really nice. Um, I'm also, well, Tailwind, he's going to outspeed. I wonder if I just go with you. Uh, hmm. Aerialate, Hyper Voice. I should have given him that. I completely forgot. Actually, I think I looked and he couldn't... No. Togekiss definitely gets it. I can't remember why I didn't give it that. Uh, I should have given you Thunder Fang. Fire Fang was a mistake. Um, okay, I have to switch out. Because he's going to go for Dragon. I think he goes Dragon. He has to. It does 60 to 71%. So, Charizard... My Charizard, level 40... Oh, not 44, 47. Uh, that has huge power. Um, that has... Bruce, and I have Thunderpunch. Yeah, Thunderbolt would obliterate Charizard. Um... Watching the struggle to make it through those type locks stuck with those made it funny in my opinion. That is true. That's fair. They they definitely were funny, uh, especially the intros. I love the Emerald type lock because those intros Hoenn did were so funny. They were actually hysterical. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch Paul out into Stoutland, and I am going to I think I T bolt here. I need to see if Rotom can live. Uh, so I have Rotom Heat, level 47. Uh, I have, uh, oh my god, what is the ability called? Blazing Soul, there it is. Blazing Soul, Leftovers, um, what's my attack? So I have Flamethrower, I did not put these in the calcs, unfortunately. Wave, Thunderbolt, and Bolt. Um, I can live any attack Electros goes for. What about the Talent Flame? And same with Talent Flame. So I just T-Bolt to kill the Talent Flame. All right, easy enough. We just do that. So Paul, come back. We go into our multi-scale Stoutland. Uh, you go for Hurricane on the Stoutland. That's fine. We eat that. Dark Pulse or Dragon Pulse. 
That's fine. We eat that too. Decently well. T Bolt takes out the Talon Flame. Uh, my favorite is the Cage Locks. That's awesome. Eevee, I love the Cage Locks. They will be coming back. I know Soul and I want to do one at some point. Same with Hoenn and I. Uh, Hoenn and I did like three projects back to back to back. So we're taking a little break. Uh, some of the projects are mainly on his channel. Um, so if you're confused on why you don't see some of those projects on my channel, that's because they're not there. Yo, I lift my sofa. Thank you so much for subbing on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. All the content is great. Oh, Ark, thank you so much. I would have flamethrower at the eel personally. That's true. I could have done that, but the talent flame, I don't want it to keep tailwinding. Uh, and I think tailwinding is coming up. But yeah, let me know in the chat, guys. What's your favorite projects? Or what are your favorite projects uh, in general on the channel? Or Pokemon projects, I guess, guess I should say. Um, I have to switch here because you're... Ooh, you might go for knockoff, though. Nate, what's going on? Welcome in, Nate. How's it going? I could go bad tantrum. Against the uh, Stoutland that I forgot to nickname. Whoops, my bad. Uh, Dream Punch does a lot of damage. Uh, Adamant, uh, multi-scale, but you're not at 100%. You're at like 60 uh, yeah, he definitely goes for play rough. Blake, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, I've watched the type locks and soul links as well. Nice. Very cool. People who suffer through Kaizo Ironbond. Listen, I've been doing that. I suffered through it yesterday, and we have a run going. It's actually a really good run, believe it or not. I think I go Zack here. I think I go into Zack as a Charizard, expecting the Drain Punch. I wonder if... Drain Punch does nothing. Um, I, I wonder, though, if Electros goes for Thunderbolt here. Yeah, Thunderbolt. Uh, hmm. You lost your Radical. I'm so sorry to hear that, Blake. That stinks, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he definitely goes Thunderbolt here. Uh, I don't know, though. Like, I... I think if he's going for Drain Punch, I switch into Skeledurge. I have the Culverberry for a reason. So I think what we do here is we go here and we go... I wonder if I Flamethrower. Now, maybe now I Flamethrower the... Um... Oh, I didn't save... Oh, I didn't save his stats. That's annoying. Um... Crap, I forgot what his ability is again. God damn it. Uh, Blazing Soul. There we go. Blazing Soul. Uh, you had a Citrus... Wait, do you have a Citrus... Oh, you still have it. Okay. Uh, you are at a total of 93 HP. Flamethrower is 39 to 47, so it does not kill the, um... Flamethrower is actually the strongest move I have for this thing. What about Toxicroak? Does that do anything to me? A poison jab. Um, but I actually think I flamethrow the Toxic Rogue, believe it or not, and hope for the burn. Okay, I can't stay. Keep going strong. You do great work. Thank you so much. I lift my sofa. I appreciate the support and the sub. I uh, hope to see you again in the future and uh, appreciate you hanging out with us. We got 18 people in the stream right now. Thank you guys so much. If you can hit that like button, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, it would mean uh, a butt ton to me. Uh, what do I do here? I think I do flamethrow the Toxic Rogue, hoping for a um, hoping for a burn. The Stoutland comes out. We go into Dawes and Games. He went for the Poison Jab on the Rotom. We go. We get the Citrus. What did he go for with? Oh, Dragon Pulse on the Rotom. Interesting. Okay. Can I get a burn? Tailwind petered out. That's massive. Actually, wait, wait, hold on. So now, oh, I don't have anyone faster than the, dang it. Okay, so Skeledurge, save Skeledurge. You gotta be kidding me, dude. really? Water Absorb, Citrus, they're at 100% health. So he's gonna most likely knock off. Um, how much does Electros do to me? Thunderbolt does about half. But I'm faster than the Electros, so... Um... 
Flamethrower and Snarl. I don't even have what I thought I had. I could Snarl, actually. That would probably be the better option. Blow, and what's my other move? And Protect. So what I probably do here is I Snarl, dropping the special attack by one. That means we take hits better. Um, oh, it hits both. You know what? Yeah, we go Snarl, and we switch into... Um... I think I have to switch into Zack here, yeah. So the Tailwind petered out, so Electros is back to being super, super slow. Goes for the knockoff on the Skeledurge, as predicted. Uh, we have the Cobra Berry to eat the hit really well. Uh, we Snarl to hopefully kill the Toxicroak, and no, we don't. But we drop the special attack of both of them. That helps us with the Electros, at least. I'm curious what he goes for here. He went for T-Ball on Skeledurge. Okay. That's interesting. Um, ah, interesting, 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 interesting. Okay. So, Skeledurge. Ah, hmm. So, I think here what I can do is Toxicroak. Um, do outspeed Skeledurge. Yo, Shadow, thank you so much for redeeming Stretch. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ugh. Ugh, appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you so much, guys. There are 17 people in here, and we got about... Actually, how many people we got on Twitch? Let's check it out. I'm curious. Yo, but thank you guys so much for being here. really do appreciate it. These double battles are insane. And we got four people on Twitch. Let's go, Parkers, dude! Um, yeah, this is, this is nuts. Uh, I saw T-Bolt deal more damage to Dirge than D-Pulse on Rotom. Yeah, so I think here what I have to do is I think I have to protect Skeledurge expecting the knockoff. I lost a Bruto. I had huge power Dragapult, Parental Bond, Blissey, Poison Eel, Kiram. Wait, you can get Kiram Black in this? Yo, that's insane. Desolate. Oh, I'm sorry, Perseus. That sucks. Bulky Skeledurge. Soul, what's going on? Yo, can I get a shout out for my recent project? Being handsome as fuck. Hello, Soul. Loving your Final Fantasy 10 playthrough. Soul, we were just talking about how handsome you are and the fact that you've saved our project. Um, so the project will be coming soon. Uh, I've been bragging about how uh, smart you are and how you've saved us. So I think what I do here is I protect and I have to see if I can kill the... Um, the Electros um, with my... Hold on. Let me save Skeletor so I don't lose him in the calcs. So Charizard. Or, I mean, huge power. It has to kill, right? Uh, the only thing that kills is Flare Blitz. I have to go for that. Okay. So I protect. Flare Blitz outspeeds both? How do I outspeed both? Okay, whatever. Electros is dead. I take very little damage, which is great. Uh, you go for Poison Jab. That's fine. We live that. Uh, Citrus Berry kicks in. No poison at all. Um, I switch because I do not take a knockoff very well. Um, so I am actually going to switch back into you, and I will Dual Wing Beat. And that kills... Oh, we did it. Three gro th gross. Three boss fights back to back to back in the Rocket Hideout. This game continues to get harder and harder every time I play it. It's unfreaking believable that there are three mini bosses in the Rocket Hideout before you even get to Giovanni now. I like I really hope I don't think they did this. I really hope they took a boss fight or two away from the 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 route south of Sabrina. Like, I really hope they change that because I'm so sick of that. Okay, I have prepped 
I only prepped for the first three boss fights today, which we've completed Deathless, which is amazing, but I have not prepped for the actual Giovanni fight. So, can I escape rope out so I can go prep? Uh, yes, I can. Also, let's buy more escape ropes, because why not? I think I could buy some from here. Um... I can also dig, but listen, I, I, I don't dig. Okay, I don't have, I don't have a uh, shovel. I don't. All right, let's figure out what in the world we are doing for this Giovanni battle. Uh, by the way, shout out to Light Glory. Light Glory, I don't know if you're watching my stream. Your docks look so good. Like they, guys, let me show you some of the cool things with Light Glory's docks that they updated. Look at this. Look at the Erica fight. Look at what he did with the trees and the the flowers. Like, look at I'm Rillaboom Sprite and stuff. Yo, Rhythm, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Sub to my channel so you can see when it releases. Yeah, guys, go sub to Soul Crist, please. Uh, because Saturday, most likely, we have episode one for our new uh, collab versus uh, the first ever of Mirror Lock. So, kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, these docks are incredible. Absolutely insane. Uh, Shadow, uh, Shadow Kid, I will just post the link in the chat. Um, I. I don't know if there's a specific website. I got this from, um, I'll put it in the YouTube uh, chat as well. So I got this from Light Glory's channel. Light Glory is a YouTuber. Uh, he's also the one of the main mods for Shady Penguin, um, Original 151, United Plays, all that stuff. So, or United Gamer. Dig? The Great Beagle Dig like an earthworm. Good heavens, no! Yeah, but these, these docks are insane. They're really good looking. Um, really really cool compared to what they used to look like before it's so good but now we've got to face this guy and i'm gonna be honest this is terrifying like look at this team like why this game just gets infinitely harder every time i download the new version why do i keep dealing with this i don't know uh i just i don't know i don't know anymore i don't know what i'm i don't know what i'm doing can someone tell me what i'm doing I'm in your chat on my computer so I can hit the link. Nice. Way to go, Light. Seriously, Light Glory crushed it. They're so good. Uh, this fight, not so good. This fight is terrifying. So immediately, I'm thinking we go with... Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's Reggie. It's how strong Reggie is. I wonder if we go for Ice Punch. Let me go to the calcs. I tried my best to prep for... I can't believe I had to prep for three mini boss fights, and I'm still just getting to Geo. It's insane. This game makes me want to cry. Uh, all right, I got to take out all the EVs because they're not in this. We have the... Uh, we don't play on that mode. So, Reggie Gigas, 47. If I go Ice Punch, is that enough to kill? It is not, but if I go Expert Belt, it is still not enough. What if I go Never Melt Ice? It is still not enough to kill. All right. Well, that sucks. Okay. What if I go back Scalibur? Level 47, Ice School Crash. I do outspeed if I'm jolly. Um, Tablets of Ruin. I think it has to. Yeah, it's got to be back Scalibur. Okay. I did not think back Scalibur would outspeed, to be honest. Um, but if he's jolly nature. Yeah, so he only outspeeds if he's jolly. What if he's adamant? He outspeeds still? Oh, no, he does not. He has to be jolly nature, yeah. Um. Okay, cool. So let's make you jolly nature. Okay, and then what do I give you? Do you so I can kill without requiring a never melt ice. That's really nice. Ice and nice, that rhymed. <laughs> Uh, I do need the Ice School Crash, right? Ice School Crash, 107 to 129. Nice. Uh, we give her a Crunch here. Don't think I ever need Crunch in this battle. Gotta be honest, don't think I do. Uh, okay, so we do that for the first Pokemon. Oh my god, you're right, Perseus. They got rid of the Tauros. I didn't even pick that up. Wow, yeah, they put Infernape back in. Huh. That was in the old version in like 3.5 or something like that. Huh. I wonder... I mean, this is still going to be very tough. I, I 
would not be shocked if this is a, a battle that I lose a mon in. I don't want to, but I wouldn't be shocked. Um, okay, what do we do here? Let's see. So, Haunch Crow. Uh, they also add a Vault, vault in Valooza. Vault in? They added a Vault in Valooza? What do you mean, Vault in? What is that? Um, alright, Haunch Crow. Dark, Flying, and Fire. Is my Lodica... Uh, you're not physically defensive. I don't know. Vault in Valooza is a phrase one of the Scarlet Violet gym leaders says. Oh, really? I never knew that. Wow, that's cool. Um... So... Hmm. No worries, Eevee. Ooh, that sounds good. Dang. Fried chicken and chicken rice? Sounds good. Um... I don't know what to face this thing with. Um... You're pretty physically bulky. I wonder if I can go... Uh, Haunch Crow, Boss Giovanni, take out the Eevees. I save Max Scalibur. And I go Gouging Fire. If you were to get a crit with any of these moves... Ah, you really don't do that much. Um, I am not faster than you... Oh, hold on. Uh... It says I'm 105 speed. How's that right? What? Hmm. Okay, something's wrong with the numbers, because that's not right. 105 speed. Oh, no, it is right. Sorry. I must have been looking at something else. Um, If I were to go jolly, do I outspeed you? I don't. It's a speed. Well, you have Sucker Punch, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Probably go adamant. Um, I have, I wish I could find a Munchlax. Uh, you know what I give you? I give you Protect so that you can get yourself sufficient healing back. Uh, Whitney's Moltank is giving me trouble. Oh, why is it giving you trouble? Uh, that stinks. Uh, I, mm, Iron Head wouldn't be great there. Uh, oh, well, it wouldn't be bad, but... A physical attacker, what can I give you to take on this? No. Uh, oh, you're talking about Miltank? Yeah. Miltank is a problem. Not great. Mm. I gotta be honest, I don't know that you make sense here. Um, what do you have? Good luck. Uh, how defensive? I mean, you're decently defensive. What's your ability? Volt Absorb? That doesn't help. Um, your, de your defense is actually really good. And with multi-scale? Not gonna lie, that's not a terrible idea. Those are level 47. Multi-scale... Wow. Honestly? Pretty solid. What happens if the multi-scale is gone? Like, if I'm at 90% HP. I still take the hit pretty well. Now, this thing outspeeds me by a mile. Um, But we do two-shot, which is very interesting. Hmm. Is that what I want to go with? I don't love that situation. Um, I think Mag... Oh, no, because the fire. Garchomp, maybe? Um... What do I want to go with? Um... Hmm. 
Flying Dark and Fire. I feel like we just go T-Tar, actually. I'm thinking, yeah. Tyranitar. Oh, that's with critical hits? Oh my god. Yeah, we just annihilate with Rock Slide. Yeah. I have Rocky Payload on my Rock-type T-Tar. Yeah, what am I doing? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, what I will do, though, is... I'm going to give you Protect, because... Feel like it's better than having. I don't think I need Iron Head for anything. Yeah, I mean it's a nice move to have, but I don't think I need it. Uh, but yeah, you come in for the Haunch Crow Infernape. Uh, Fire Fighting Electric Giratina might be kind of perfect because I resist both of your moves, Fire and Electric, and I'm immune to fighting. And your Intimidate doesn't matter because I can just go and be a special attacker. Now, the question is, so if I go Modest, Four Spears special, so is Earth Power. Um, can I give you any better moves that are special that helps with the Infernape? Uh... Uh, Hyper Voice doesn't really help there. Uh, Icy Wind. I, mm. Thunderbolt could be solid for just some coverage. Honestly, not bad. Psychic would be really good against Infernape. Uh, hold on. Let me look at everything first. Gets Dark Pulse. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Um, so I think it's I think I have to teach you Psychic. Aura Sphere is great for the Kangaskhan. Really good for the Orthworm. Um. I actually don't... I don't know if I need the Dark Pulse. Thunderbolt hits the Veluza pretty hard and the Honchkrow. Dark Pulse would only really be good against the Veluza, so I'll get rid of it for Psychic. Yeah, Giratina's Ghost Dragon, which honestly, perfect counter for uh, Infernape. And we made him a special attacker. Um, I'm going to check the calcs just to make sure we're not overrating... Um, what's his name? Uh, Giratina? But I feel like that's a perfect, almost, well, about as perfect as you're going to get. Um, intimidate, dash. I'm going to save t in the calcs. Go Giratina. This is the first time I'm really using Giratina. This is so cool. 47, your modest nature. You have technician. You'll have a citrus berry. Love your HP. Yeah. Pyroball does 13 to 15%. So we've got uh, Aura Sphere, which does okay damage. Thunderbolt, which does okay damage. But then we have Earth Power, does really well. Thank you. Both do really well. Um, it's a two shot either way. Uh, even if he does spend time Swords Dancing. The most he does is 31%. Um, I wish you could learn Roost or like a healing move. Uh, let me double check that you can't. No, you really don't. I didn't see a healing move on here. And you get Rest, but like, ugh. That's not the healing move I wanted, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a Citrus Berry. I'm hoping that turn one he just goes straight up for an attack and then sets up Sword Stance on the turn that I'm already in. That would be really nice. But yeah, really good coverage there. I'm happy with that. Um, uh, Resto Chesto always exists. It does. That is true. But I kind of like the... Um, mm, <laughs> Jonathan, how dare you? You know what? That's a fair comment. I, I, I do throw from time to time. 
Um, nah, for now, I'm gonna stick with Citrus. I, I wanna go with that. But you're right, Resto Chesto might not be the worst idea. But I also don't see status in this fight much. I mean, maybe it, maybe I do get status now that I say that, but... All right, so Orthworm. Um, what's our strat here? So, probably Charizard. Because I dodge your Earthquake, being part flying. I resist your Iron Head. And I resist your Body Press. So, yeah. We just do that. Hey, Shadow, thank you so much for the Hydrate. I actually don't... Do I have any more water? I have a little bit. Thank you. Cheers to you. Uh, I appreciate it. I don't have much left, so I need to go get some in a minute. Uh, Citrus Berry. Let's go ahead and save the game. So, I... With you, I probably just Flare Blitz. Uh, you know what I also do? I give you Brick Break. Because... I actually probably get... Ooh, do I get rid of Roost or Dual Wing Beat? Brick Break for the Kangaskhan and for the Orthworm uh, would be really nice. Um, Dual Wing Beat would be good for the Infernape. Thunder Punch for the Veluza. I don't think I'd stay in against Veluza, though, would I? Um... Hmm... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of T-Punch. Or, yeah, I'm going to get rid of T-Punch. I don't think I use that. Um, Yeah, we do that. Okay. Save the game. So now we got some for Earthworm, who's going to shed tail and be super annoying. Kangaskhan, um, my counter is... Where? Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. Skeledurge, welcome. Ooh, and having Water Absorb, great for Veluza. That's really nice. Uh, we do the same thing we always do, which is a Culberberry. Uh, I'm going to give you... Oh, you don't get Torch Song yet. That's fine. You've got will o -Wisp. That's all we need it for. And then for Veluza, Water and Psychic. So a Dark-type... Um... Dark type would be nice. Um, honestly, I could probably go. Uh, no, probably not Gudra. No. I need a physical wall. Who is my physical wall? I've. I have two special walls right here Ice Scales and then Blissey. Uh, and Polyon could work. You're honestly not wrong, but what do I hit this thing with as an Empoleon? I have Grass Knot. I could check. I'm not against it. Um, all right. So Giratina saved. Skeledurge. Make sure you're saved. The uh, Olberberry. Hi, Lou. What's up, Louie? Uh, let's see. So Empoleon at level 47. Modest Nature Illuminate. Citrus versus the loser. Um, I don't really do anything to it. Um, that's not that's not okay, but fillet away doesn't it boost his stats by six? Isn't that how that works? Who's a, a raise the user attack special attack and speed by two in exchange for losing half of it? Okay, so he only goes plus two. I mean, I say only, but oh, he does a lot of damage. Uh, but he would lose half his HP, and Grass Knot would one shot after that. So I guess you're right. I guess we go Empoleon. Um, is there not a better option though? Like, what about Comfy? What do you have? Uh, you're fairy type. Um, Reggie Lecky. That is that is the funniest answer. You're not wrong. Um, I 
You know what? I could actually go Oracle Compulse, but Suicune's water moves wouldn't do anything, so that kind of doesn't make any sense. Could go uh, Walking Wake, Desolate Land. Means that it can only hit me with Filet Away. That's so funny. Yeah. Do I have a Regilecki? I don't think I do, do I? No. No, I don't. Um... Um... Mm. Just looking at all my options. Do, 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 do. Do, you know what? We'll go with it. Why not? Uh, we'll go Citrus Berry. We'll make you modest. Uh, I need to check TMs for everybody. I will go ahead and give you Ice Beam over Metal Claw. I will... Mm. What else do I give you? A little kick? No. Uh, Roost? Honestly, pretty solid. Do I need Flash Cannon for this battle? Probably not. Scald over Surf for the burn. Honestly, not a terrible move set. I actually just realized I don't need Ice Beam either. There's really no reason to have that, right? Um. I probably don't go for. There's not really a. Sp they're not really a special attacking team, so Scorching Sands is better there. Uh, let me go back and... Um... With knockoff? I'm pretty sure he gets knockoff soon. Or I thought he did. Louie. Hey Louie. Oh, you okay? Oh, okay. He was eating his paw. <laughs> Louie, come here. Look him up. Up. You wanna say hi to everybody? Ugh. Are you sniffing my thumb? The camera from my my mic? Yo, if you guys are members, spam the Louie emote. Louie, look. Look, Lou. Louie. Louie. Okay, you can't do the thing because you're near the microphone. Literally blast everyone's ears. He likes to do a thing where he like like that, but I can't have him do it because again, this is here and that'll be really bad. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hi buddy. I just poked my eye with your lashes out. Bad. I live. You deserve some attention, don't you? I've been working all day, I know. And then right after work, I stream. I know. Love you. It's okay, though. He just wants to give kisses all the time. That's all he wants to do. Also, seriously, my eye out. I went to turn, and like one of his eye la or his like whiskers poked me. Ah. I can't see you guys anymore. <laughs> Stop licking my microphone. All right. Got to get down, buddy. Come on. Why don't you get down? There you go. <laughs> uh, he just wants some love. He wants some love and attention. He's a lovely boy. All right. Here we go. We got this. Uh, I'm a little worried we don't have a ton of priority. Ice Shard is not terrible, but... Um, Ice Shard is not terrible, but like that's the only priority we have. So I'm like... This could get bad. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's do this. Let's battle Giovanni. Um, and to be honest, 
I don't know how this is gonna go. I feel pretty good about it, but the shed tail scares me. Um, you know what I could? No, I think it's fine. I do this. Yeah, roost is really nice. We give you a citrus berry. You're immune to water, which is really good. That's really nice. Huge power. Uh, dual wing beat, flare blitz, brick break. You know what? Just in case things get scary, I know he's not a physical attacker. But I kind of want to... Now, I, I I think I've got to stick with the, the moveset I have on him. There's glass there. Wow. Wait, what? Hey, what are you talking about? It's so hard to tell there's glass there. Wow. Wait, where? What are you talking about? Did I miss something? I don't know. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is about that time. The level cap's definitely 47, right? It for sure did not change. I don't want to assume anything. Okay, everyone's 47. Everyone's got what? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Does he have Culverberry? He does. Okay, Culverberry... Uh, wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Uh, I'm scared. No, I did not mean to battle you. Okay, I gotta be really careful here. Did not mean to battle you, man. Okay. What did you just do? Oh my god, this is so terrifying. Um, oh god, Reggie. Please don't... Please don't kill one of my team. I'm gonna flare blitz and kill you. Um, break, break. Um, uh, please, I prepped this team. I don't want to lose, please. Okay, okay. Oh, that could have been really bad. Could have been so bad. Okay, we're fine, though. We're fine. Okay, here we go. We did it. Here we go. 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 Everybody, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm ready. I'm scared. Am I ready? I don't know. You switched? They're Orthworm. I should have seen that coming. Yeah. Now, here's the question. How much does this do? Probably nothing. Yeah, it does nothing. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Who would he shed tail into? He would shed tail into Infernape, right? I feel like Giratina is the answer here because I I think no matter who he goes for, oh, I should have Culber buried the uh, Giratina because of the Kangaskhan if it comes in. Um, Because if I go into this thing and he goes into Infernape, we're in trouble. What I could do is I could predict the shed tail and I could go for breaking swipe to drop somebody's attack, which is honestly a pretty solid plan. So we go, so let me, hold on, let me save and pull up. I think we go breaking swipe. Back Scalibur. Oh, but I'm gonna lower his attack because I'm gonna outspeed. Ooh. Orthworm. Uh.
Uh, I will do seven to nine percent against this Pokemon. Um, damn. I'm gonna switch to Giratina. I think he goes Shed Tail into Infernape. I could be wrong. I mean, yeah, Citrus Berry kicks in. Oh no, it doesn't. Jordan, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Hope all is well. Oh, we need O King. Oh, okay. Um. Huh. Really bad. Um. Er. Um. I mean, good news. Giratina takes hits. Um, we do not outspeed. Giratina is my counter for Infernape, so I cannot stay in. Um, wow, I'm in trouble. I am in so much trouble. So he ice beams here. Back Scalibur. I believe I still go to you. Um, but I'm in very big trouble here. Very, very big trouble. I should have gotten uh, Ends theme. You're right. That would have been smart. He does go for the Ice Beam. That's just the lowest amount of damage at 36 to 43%. That actually did not even do that much. Um, okay, I outspeed. Um, so I go for the Ice School Crash. That breaks the Shed Tail. I take another hit, right, at 126. I'm at 70%. I live every attack. Every attack he goes for. Raptor is a beta Pokemon. It's book fighting. Oh, okay. Very cool. That breaks the Shed Tail. Goes for Sludge Bomb. This does 54 to 63. I have my Citrus. That does not... Dude, what is that? Oh, because the four... The two... Fit... Oh, the freaking Eevees, dude. I didn't take them out. So we were fine no matter what there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, not even close. All right. We outspeed. Ice School Crash. Finally, we kill the Nido King. All right, we're in good shape. We're in great shape. Nido King is gone. Who comes out now? Kank is gone. That's fine. We go into Dragon, or sorry, uh, Dawson Games. Yeah, Dawson Games. Yeah, I'll switch to Ends theme in the next strip. I'll add that to the stream deck. That actually is a great idea. I don't know why I didn't do that. I would have been really smart, but oh well. You go for the fake out. Doesn't work. I go Willow. You switch to Infernape. No, to Veluza. That's... Wait, I think I just stay in then. Um, okay. I just burned your Pokemon. That... Okay, whatever. Uh, custom. I mean, Psycho Cut still does 18 to 21%, and I need to have Dawes and Games healthy, so we switch into Empoleon. Just hopped under your bed. That's cool. It's a Pokemon hack. Uh, Fire Red hack. Oh, nice. Or Pokemon Red, I mean. Yeah. Cool. Citrus Berry does kick in. I have nothing to... I think I have to stay in and Scald here. Um, Orthworm. So let me take off the 252. Uh, and I go into Empoleon. Yeah, Skull has a chance to kill here. And it at least shuts down the Shed Tail, so I'm going to go for that. Wait, he got sped? I'm that slow? Oh my god, that's terrible. The Skull break the, the Shed Tail? Please tell me it does. It does. Okay, thank god. That would have been so bad. But he's got rid of his Shed Tail uh, Citrus Berry combo, so that's good. We're fine. Fake out. Okay, now I Willow. You crunch. I've got the Cobra Berry. It doesn't matter. I'm bold nature. This is how Skeledurge helps us in this battle. We take decent damage, honestly. And again, uh, no defense drop. Wow. Crazy. Okay. Um, you're going to go for a dark move. I'm wondering if I go into you and Brick Break. Uh, I actually, no, I can't because you have fighting moves. I could go Charizard. Um, now that the Earthworm is so weak, Mega Kangas. Uh, 
Uh, he is burned. Uh, oh, I have Brick Break. Yeah, hold on. Brick Break or Flare Blitz would do really well. Um, I could just stay in and Flamethrower. Um... Honestly, I kind of want to switch. Although fighting's going to hurt. Yeah, punch, power up punch would suck. Uh, you know what I probably do? I protect here. Just to stall the fire, the burn. Yeah, you go for crunch. Burned a little bit more. Um, I really want to save you for the... What Pokemon I was saving you for? The Honchkrow. Yeah. Um, who do we safely go into here? I could lower your attack with Tablets of Ruin. Maybe back Scalibur's worth it here? Yo, back Scalibur is definitely worth it. And I can Breaking Swipe to lower his attack. Honestly, kind of solid. Uh, you don't have your Citrus Berry anymore, which is not great, though. And I don't outspeed. So is there any value in doing that? Um, I think I just go Charizard. Yeah, I think I think because you're burned and the fact that Charizard was for Earthworm. Earthworm is a joke. There's nothing left to really take out. It's got no Citrus Berry. It's really low on health. You did get the D-drop on the first hit, really. All right, dude. Um, I am going to... Uh, I don't have speed, right? 113? No, not at all. Um, you know what I do then? I predict that you're going to... So I'm minus one defense. You're going to pop. No, I think I just have to brick break. Yeah, you're going for pop. My defense is down one as well. So you're plus one, plus two. Yep, sucks. Brick Break does really good damage here, though. You are burned. I now switch back into Skeledurge, because you go for the power up again. Or you go for Beast Slime. Yep, perfect. And I protect. It is it is weekend, my dudes. Welcome in, Robert. Hope all is well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I live... You're plus two, though. You're plus two in attack now. So, if I go Charizard this time... Crunch will do a lot of damage. I'm only 104. But he's going to go for Crunch because of Skeledurge being out. So, I do switch into Charizard here. Yeah, he crunches. That's fine. We love a crunch. Citrus kicks in. Beautiful. A crit. Wonderful. So glad you got a crit. Thanks, man. Infernape comes in. All right. So, yo, do I do a wing beat? No, no. He outspeeds. Surely, right? Yeah, he outspeeds by a mile. Yeah, it's not even close. Uh, actually, it's closer than I thought, but it doesn't matter. I switch every day of the week. Anthony, come on in. Thunder Punch, we resist. That's fine, actually. I'm glad you did that. Because now I can go for Psychic. You're going to SD. That's fine. Uh, the most you do is 30-something percent here. I Psychic. This does about 65, 66. Looks like more like 70. Got the special defense drop. Pretty nice. We go for Psychic. Pyro Ball does about 35% with the plus two Swords Dance. Not even that much. I don't, I don't even know Pokemon. Uh, Honchkrow comes in. We go into Titar. The funniest nickname that has ever stuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. Sucker Punch. That sucks. Uh, you go for Drill Peck. Gets the crit. Earthworm comes out. Um, I have to be faster than... Well, oh, maybe I don't. Earthworm. You're 80 speed? Wow. You're actually faster than, like, a bunch of Pokemon that I didn't think you'd be faster than. Wait, wait. How... What's the level for Earthworm? 
Yeah, it is 47. It's actually faster than my uh, T-Tar. I cannot... I can't stay in. Yeah, body press obliterates me. Okay. So, we go into Charizard here. Wait. Uh... Wait, hold on. Let me double check that. Uh, 84. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely go Charizard. Just checking. Just making sure. Goes for the body press. That's fine. We go for the brick break. We kill you. Oh, we're not done. Whoops. I forgot. All right, we switched to Empoleon. You are burned. You go for the air aqua cutter. That's a actual joke. You fillet away. I grass knot, which does not kill you. But I still live any attack you go for. And ladies and gentlemen, claps in chat. Let's freaking go. We did it. Level cap is set to 56. Oh, we did it. We freaking did it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Four boss fights. Three double... Three, three mini boss fights that were double ba battles. Holy crap. Is there anyone I can evolve because of the level increase? Is there like a rare Pokemon that I'm just, I, I need to get into the fifties to evolve. I don't, I usually do, but I don't this time. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, so let's do this really quick because I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to see what encounter we can get. Let's, first of all, let's level our team up. Might as well. Um, not gonna lie, this T-Tar run is kind of cracked. Oh my God, I just got Earthquake. Holy schnitzels. Uh, Dragon Claw, I, I want you to be special, though. Got a Force, nah, not right now. A Fire Spin, no thank you. Inferno. A overheat, no thank you. I just want to bring a team into the uh, the thing. I'm, I'm not going to... Ooh, make it rain. I make it rain every night, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got him. All right, let's go get our encounter. I just want to see what we can get. Uh, I'm not going to go that far into the uh, the thing. So we can get a champ. Venusaur. I don't have a Venusaur. But I did. Hypno. And I think, is that... Are there different... Are the different floors different encounters? I always forget with this place. They are slightly different. Wow. Uh, not overly excited about this... I could go Kingdra. Do I have a Kingdra? Dragon water types, honestly, pretty solid. Um, I could wait for the top floor, but I also don't want to forget what my encounter is. Um, hmm. Uh. What would I want? I mean, my champ's fine. He could be really good, honestly. Kingdra or Venusaur? Venusaur can mega, could be really good, depending on what he gets. Um, I never go for Kingdra. Maybe we get something good. I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to go get Kingdra. Let's do it. All right. Um, let's see. Jordan, shout out to you. You are getting this... Uh, whoops. You are getting this Pokemon. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll grab the items while we're here. Might as well, I guess. Elixir. Uh, let's go evolve this um, Pokemon. And let's see what we get. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and grab this. I really would love Primordial Sea or Drizzle. I take either or. Oh, you evolve with a stone thing, don't you? Prism scale, yeah. Prism scale, Kingdra. What do you have? Snap Sipper, actually? I mean, I don't hate it. It takes, well, it's, nah, because we're neutral. No guard? Wait, no guard hurricane? Unaware? Wait, hold on. No guard hydro pump. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
wait, wait, wait. Yo, wait a minute. Now, my opponent also can't miss either, right? So that's the downside of this, is that my opponent... Hold on, let me, let me level you up. This is really good. Uh, yeah. Hold on, so we don't miss Toxic. I give you Ice Beam, but I probably will get rid of it for something else. Yo, if we could get Zap Cannon. Um, what's a move that has lower accuracy? But no guard. Yeah, it could have been those. Those would have been solid too. Yeah. Uh, Alt. Probably. Do I not naturally get? Hmm. Yeah, because I don't have Hurricane yet. When do I get that? Oh, let me check again. Yawn, Bubble, Water Gun, Twister. Oh, I bet it's in Fuchsia. I bet I don't get some of those moves until Fuchsia with uh, Kyo. I can't ever miss Stab Hydro Pump. <laughs> Yo! I don't think I have the TM for Blizzard, um, so I think we'll have to wait till late game to, to get it. Yeah, no guard Magnezone would have been crazy for Zap Cannon. Guys, I'm so tired. I've had such a long day at work. I just did four boss battles. I don't feel like prepping for the Marowak right now. I also want to edit the first episode for the Versus coming out on Saturday. So I'm going to call it quits tonight. I'm sorry it's a shorter stream. Uh, I've got a long weekend of being on call. For those of you who don't know, I am not streaming this weekend. Um, today is the last stream until next week on Tuesday. Uh, I am on call tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because the rest of my team is on vacation. So it's up to me to cover for the on-call shift. Um, because of that, I am not working or uh, not streaming this weekend. So I'm going to hang out with Monica, check my phone for work stuff. Hopefully work is kind of quiet this weekend. Uh, but also it's nice to take a weekend off from streaming. Uh, I haven't done that in a very long time. Um, so it'll be really nice to just take time off. Um and enjoy the next four or five days to myself. But next week, we'll be back really hard with Emerald Kaizo, Radical Red, and uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. But I look forward to seeing you guys next week for streams. Uh, we've got Grand Blue Fantasy Relink coming out to tomorrow. Uh, new episode. We've got Saturday, the first episode on Soul Chris channel of the Mirror Lock versus the Pokemon Mirror Lock versus. And then um, obviously I'll be streaming again next week. So thank you to Dragon Taz, Eevee, Dad, Ark, Robert, Jordan, uh, Hirosan, Shadow, Cyberbond, um, everybody else. If I forgot your name, I'm so sorry. Louie is like bothering me for attention right now. He really wants to be pet. Uh, so I'm petting him. But um, yeah, thanks everyone for all your support. You guys are all incredible. I really do look forward to jump back into streaming next week. And uh, yeah, but I'll see you guys soon. Until then, I'm out. Peace. Bye, guys.